Hey folks, I picked up some flux core MIG wire from Yes Welder, and today we're going to be looking at how clean of a weld you can get simply by switching up the wire that comes out of your welder. So if you want to see if you can clean up your welds without having to upgrade to gas, I suggest you stay tuned. <laughs> Hey folks, it's Nate, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a follow-up on the Yes Welder MIG welder that I received from Yes Welder about a month ago at this point. Um, I've got the thing up and running. You saw that in my unboxing and my unbox to weld video, which I'll link up wherever that gets linked. Uh, so you'll be able to watch that if you really want to, if you're that curious about the MIG 205DS. Uh, what I'm going to do today is the wire that I had in my Clark welder. It's 035 wire. It's an inexpensive wire that I had purchased uh, through Amazon or somewhere, I don't remember anymore. And in my opinion, it was really spattery, really left a whole lot of uh, flux, I guess it's flux, on the piece that I was welding, and it was really smoky. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna compare that wire to some Yes Welder not a freebie, I purchased this. Some Yes Welder wire that I purchased through their website. I've heard good things about this wire. This isn't anything that Yes Welder has foisted on me. I am genuinely curious if the wire is any good, because if it is, I'm going to keep going back to them for wire, because they're priced about uh, comparatively with other brands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a bead or two with the wire that's currently in the machine, which is the older stuff, and I'll get the name of it when I open up the, <laughs> the welder to show it to you. But I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna lay some beads with that, just on a piece of scrap steel. Then I'm gonna lay a few, then I'm gonna load this wire into the welder and lay a few with this wire as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up, get my scrap steel out, get my helmet and whatnot, and get the machine fired up. And we're gonna lay some beads and we're gonna see what they look like. All right, so as I was getting set up, I thought I would stop for a moment to show you the, the wire that I have in here. I've burned off about half of this spool already. I bought this before I started the bumper project. I did a lot of welding on that project. Um, and I've done a lot, a lot of things since then, just little touch-ups and practice things and stuff I've done on the channel and stuff I haven't, right? So this wire is from Best Welds. I don't know if you've ever heard of Best Welds, but they make wire. That's what's currently in the machine. I'm gonna lay down a meter two, like I said, on that scrap. <laughs> folks so that was with the best weld wire in the machine you can see how smoky it is in the shop here I'm going to take the time to switch the wire let the shop air out a bit so we can get a better comparison and I have to charge my GoPro a little bit so I'll be right back just wanted to take a second to show you the wrapping that the yes welder spool came in this is not exactly uncommon but it was airtight wrapped. It's wrapped in this paper, right? And there was one of these silica gel packets inside of there. This is flux core wire. I didn't mention that at the beginning. So I, so you expect it to be a little smoky uh, because it's burning flux, right? So, you know, I'm not expecting miracles here, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I was in the process of getting this loaded and I wanted to show you guys how the packaging was. So back to work. We have the new wire fed. I gotta say, I love the freaking wire feed button on the Yes Welder because the Clark did not have one. And I just had to stand there and hold the trigger. The wire feed button, when you hold it on the on the Yes Welder, will speed up the feed until you let go um, so that you can feed your gun <laughs> instead of waiting forever. All right, so I have changed the wire, like I mentioned. I've got the garage door open. I'm still waiting for some of the smoke to clear out from the best weld stuff. Here's the, the spool of best weld that I just took out. You can see like half the spool maybe, maybe less than half the spool I've used so far. But uh, you know, it's been decent wire. I'm just curious if it's gonna be any cleaner. So I say cleaner, 
get you off that tripod and show you how this looks. Now, at this point, I have not cleaned this at all. I have just, I finished the weld, and I kept going with the video. So, I have not touched this yet. That's how it looks. After word, after I'm finished, I'm going to hit that with a wire brush, and I'm not going to grind it or anything, and then we're going to compare the two. So that's what the weld looks like with the best weld. We're going to switch to the Yes Welder wire. It's all loaded up and ready to go. All right, folks, so I've allowed these both to cool a bit. As you can see, the, the flux has already started to chip off of the, this is the best weld, and this is the yes weld. So uh, you can see that the, the best weld stuff, the best weld wire, had, I think, uh, a darker color and a, a little more of this, this smoky residue that's left. The... Yes welder wire had plenty of it too though, so it's not like this is apples and oranges here. It's really kind of similar. So let's chip this away. And see what kind of welds we have. Now Like I said, I don't want to hit these with grinders. I just want to show you how they look right from the get-go. So, I can tell you already, the best weld has a ton more slag around the weld. It also has a darker color to it. I don't know, because I'm not a welding pro, if that means something or not. So any of you that are watching that know more about welding than me, does that mean something? The fact that this looks darker, Maybe it's just the type of material they use, I don't know. But this is definitely a darker color than the Yes Welder, uh, the Yes Welder wire. I'm going to get you off the tripod and show you this even closer so you can get a good look at it. But you'll notice there's a bunch of spatter all around the Best Weld. There's hardly any around the Yes Welder wire. Let's see what you think. Come here. So I've always felt that handheld camera work does not make good YouTube, but here we are, doing my best. So, I'll try not to shake too much. My hands are not as steady as they used to be. So, this is the weld from the Yes Welder wire. Look all around it, you see, I'm going to try to get as much of a close-up as I can. It's getting blurry, hang on. See, there is not much in the way of spatter. Okay, now we're going to move to the best weld stuff. Here's the best weld. Now you can see there's a lot more spatter around the outside of that weld. Still looks solid, if you ask me. But there is a lot more spatter residue that's left. And this stuff, chipping hammer will probably get some of it off, but... It is not, it's, it's pretty well embedded there. So, what do you think? Best weld? Yes welder. These are both flux core wires. They're both kind of smoky, that's expected from flux core. The spatter, I think, is much worse on the best weld than it is on the yes welder. That, that got me a pretty darn clean weld, if you ask me. So what do you think? Would you buy the best weld wire or the yes welder? What do you think of the yes welder wire? Do you have a better option for wire? Now, obviously, I've got a 10-pound spool of the yes welder now. I'm going to use it. But I'd be happy to hear what you guys think, what you think a better brand of wire is. I'd be happy to compare them to the yes welder, even. I wouldn't mind buying another spool of wire. I'm going to use it eventually anyway. So, 
All in all, I don't see a huge difference between the Best Weld and the Yes Welder wire, except for that spatter. The spatter, I think, is actually worth, <laughs> worth noting, because the less spatter you have on your piece, the less cleanup you're going to have later. And the bumper, I got to tell you, when I did the bumper, there was so much spatter. I spent hours, literally hours, cleaning that thing up. This already, I feel like the welds here are looking better than they did with my Clark. Now, was that something with the Clark? Was it me? I'm not sure. I did give my Clark away. In fact, they gave it to my dad, which is kind of ironic because he gave it to me 15 years ago when I first got into welding. <laughs> And I'm going to give him the well, the wire that I just took out of the yes welder. So um, we'll see if his uh, if his experience with the the Clark welder are different than mine. Um, I don't know how much he's going to weld with it. He's he's more into woodworking than <laughs> metalworking. But uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how the old Clark's doing if anybody cares. So go ahead and leave me some comments down below if you want to know more about the yes welder wire. If you want to buy the wire or any of the Yes Welder stuff I've featured on this channel, use the code SWVFAB on YesWelder.com and get yourself a discount, 10% off. Uh, and if not, well, don't. Whatever. I don't care. I hope you guys have enjoyed this comparison. If you want to support the channel at all, head on over to SWBCrawler.com. There's merch you can buy or this Patreon site. You can go and support us that way. And until next time, remember, folks, get out there and wheel. I'll see you in the next one.